Welcome to Ace My Exams Learning. Let us get started with today's learning. The chemistry of life. All living organisms are composed of elements. An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances with chemicals and the makeup of its atoms defines each element. An atom is the smallest particle of an element and when two or more atoms combine, a molecule is formed. Examples of elements include carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, calcium, sodium. Molecules for life A molecule consists of two or more atoms connected by chemical bonds. For example, a molecule of oxygen is formed from two oxygen atoms. When molecules are formed from different types of atoms, we call them compounds. Compounds are molecules that have atoms of two or more elements. The most common example is water, which has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Organic and inorganic compounds. Compounds are classified into two broad categories, namely organic and inorganic compounds. Organic compounds are those that contain carbon, but not all carbon-containing compounds are organic. The general rule is that organic compounds have carbon atoms that are bonded to hydrogen atoms, while inorganic compounds do not. The major organic compounds in living organisms include carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and nucleic acids. Living beings depend on both organic and inorganic compounds that are present in their environment to build and maintain the various structures of their cells, tissues, organs, and overall physical form. Inorganic compounds. Inorganic compounds are substances that do not contain carbon. Some examples of these include water and mineral salts. The importance of water in sustaining life. Water is a fundamental element that sustains life on Earth as explained below. 1. Controls temperature. Water plays an essential role in the regulation of temperature. In humans, sweat glands produce sweat, which helps cool the body through perspiration. Similarly, plants are cooled by the loss of water vapor from their leaves, a process called transpiration. 2. Support and structure. Water is also responsible for providing shape and support to animals and plants. It serves as a hydrostatic skeleton for animals such as worms and jellyfish. In plants, water creates turgor pressure, which helps the plant keep its shape and grow upright. 3. Serves as a transport medium. As a transport medium, water enables substances to move around the body. It constitutes the primary component of blood, which carries blood cells, hormones, dissolved gases, electrolytes, and nutrients throughout the body. 4. Acts as a lubricant. Water also acts as a lubricating agent, as it is the primary component of saliva, which aids in chewing and swallowing. It also keeps the eyes lubricated through tears. 5. It is a good solvent. Water is the universal solvent that can dissolve more substances than any other liquid. This quality makes it an indispensable solvent for biological chemicals. Through hydrolysis, water breaks down chemical bonds to extract essential components for sustaining life. For instance, water plays a crucial role in facilitating the human bodies to absorb nutrients and energy from food. 6. A medium for chemical reactions. Water is involved in several classes of chemical reactions. During hydrolysis reactions, water breaks down large molecules into smaller ones. Water can also be split into hydrogen and oxygen atoms, providing energy for complex chemical reactions, such as photosynthesis. 7. Supports reproduction. Water is vital for reproduction and embryonic development in various species. In aquatic environments, marine creatures release their reproductive cells into the water, allowing fertilization to occur. Similarly, water is essential for pollination in plants, which leads to seed formation. Furthermore, water provides a fluid-filled environment necessary for the initial stages of embryonic development in different species, including mammals. Minerals. Living organisms require minerals for their chemical processes. 
While plants absorb minerals from the soil, they can also receive them from fertilizers. On the other hand, humans and animals obtain minerals from the food they consume. There are two classifications of minerals, macroelements and microelements. Macroelements are important nutrients that the body needs in large amounts, while microelements are nutrients that are needed in smaller quantities. Macroelements. They include 1. Calcium. Calcium is an important nutrient that can be found in a variety of foods, including most fruits and vegetables, as well as meat and dairy products. It plays a crucial role in maintaining strong bones and teeth and regulating muscle contraction, blood clotting, and nerve function. A deficiency in calcium can lead to several health conditions such as rickets in children and osteoporosis in adults. 2. Magnesium. Magnesium is crucial for strong bones and teeth, nerve and muscle function, and energy production. You can find it in nuts, meat, and dairy products. Not having enough magnesium can lead to conditions like osteoporosis and muscle cramps. 3. Phosphorus. Phosphorus P, is necessary for strong bones and teeth, nerve function, and as a component of nucleic acids and cell membranes. You can get it from nuts, meat, and dairy products. If you don't have enough phosphorus, it can result in rickets and osteoporosis. 4. Potassium. Potassium is essential for growth and maintenance, water balance, and heart function. Bananas, meat, and dairy products are good sources of potassium. Not having enough potassium can lead to muscle cramps and, in severe cases, heart, kidney, and lung failure. 5. Sodium. Sodium is a mineral that can be found in table salt, as well as in various fruits and vegetables. It plays an important role in regulating blood pressure and volume, as well as in muscle and nerve function. While a sodium deficiency can cause muscle cramps, it is less common due to its widespread presence in the diet. 6. Sulfur. Sulfur is present in foods such as meat, dairy products, eggs, and legumes. It is an essential part of proteins, contributes to detoxification processes in the body, and promotes healthy skin, hair, and nails. However, sulfur deficiency disorders are unlikely to occur due to its abundance in many protein-rich foods. 7. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is an essential nutrient that is found in various food sources such as meat, fish, eggs, and soy. This nutrient plays a vital role in the formation of DNA and RNA, as well as in the production of amino acids. A nitrogen deficiency can limit a person's growth and development. Microelements Microelements are nutrients that are needed in smaller quantities. They include 1. Iron Iron is a vital microelement required for the proper functioning of the human body. It is present in meat and legumes and forms an essential component of hemoglobin in red blood cells. A deficiency of this micronutrient can lead to anemia, which is characterized by fatigue and a pallid complexion. 2. Iodine Iodine, which is found in seafood and iodized salt, is necessary for the production of the hormone thyroxine. A deficiency of iodine can cause goiter, which is a swollen thyroid gland. 3. Zinc. Zinc is found in seafood and meat. Consuming foods rich in zinc is crucial for maintaining a healthy male reproductive system, a lack of which can lead to prostate problems. To access more learning and exam preparation materials, go to www.acemyexams.coza. This link is also in the video description below. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and be the first to know when we upload new videos.